Welcome back to another very nice morning, a Saturday morning. Um, it's only 8.07, I think, so it's actually not very early. Usually I get the birds out much earlier than this, but I'm actually meeting the guy here to um, drop the sheep off here in an hour that I've got on the estate channel, so you can head over and watch that video. But in this video, we're going to get those guys out for a fly. And what I did promise you guys is a look at our race roster for next year. Um, where these young birds are going to be racing so stay tuned to the end of the video the dogs are in the back and they're getting a little bit annoying and I will go through that I'll basically explain to you um, what I'm hoping to do as a minimum minimum for next year but um, until then let's just get these birds out for a fly no I mean I forgot the scraper but that doesn't matter I can use the big scraper in here to do most of the cleaning and then I'll do the rest later I'm going to come out this afternoon for a second fly but I'd say they are going to fly very well today because it is cool and it's completely still. And look at this sky. It's only meant to be a top of 21 degrees today. So this morning it's around about probably 12, 15. So perfect conditions for these guys to fly. So what I'll do is get this door open and let's get them up in the air. All right, so first things first, before I get them in the air, so I just need to get those two little squeakers um what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put them in this aviary for now and they can just it's good for them because they can sort of view have a good look around but i just don't want to open this door and lose the young birds so until we've got them trained we'll just put them in here which is fine which is is very handy we got this so come on you two in there all right it's okay i know you look a little bit worried but uh, it's all good whoa it's okay you're going to get used to this loft pretty soon Oh, I tell you how much I love these sliding doors. I'm gonna have so many of these in my next loft. I just gotta figure out how I wanna place it, put all these in the sections, things like that. But uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stay in the loft when I let them out this time and try and scare them all out at once. That was one of you guys that recommended that. So long as this door stays open, just because there's a loop. Oh, nah, they don't wanna. All right, come on. <laughs> That's they're too keen to get out. All right, go, go, go. Come on. Go. Go, 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 go. Go. I need to get a little latch for this door. I have to put that on my list. That and another scraper. That one, that's what needs to go on my list. Ah, of course. So, feral, let's go, feral. Go, feral. There's feral there. Come on. You're right once you get out there. You just don't like going out. Come on. Oh, buddy. We, we, this is like a repeat of yesterday. I'm going to have to take you out. All right, off you go. Oh, gosh. Those last few that come out are just a little bit behind that flock. They're really hard to see, but they're there. They're over here a bit now. They're up so high, like they just disappear so quickly. We've got three there, two there, and then the other big flock are gone now. They were just there a second ago. So, I mean, these perfect mornings like this, and the birds just want to go, they just disappear. We've got six, seven. Yeah, we've got seven that are hanging around. There's another one over there, and then there's another bunch that went. So, there is that little group that is roaming, which is good. I just can't see them so I can zoom in for you because they're gone. I've got plenty of these ones cruising around. The little lone flies. That's probably more like the splits and things like that. And you've probably got these ones which more look like the Leo Storm kind of babies. The, the way they fly and things like that. They seem to be a little bit faster and a bit more excited about coming out. Where the the splits, they're, all, they're pretty good. They're actually improving very quickly. We had a bit of a rough start with those ones but they seem to um, really pick their game up so we're definitely going to get them in the basket for tossing anyway and who knows they might even make the race season the first few races are only pretty short we might even just put them in the sprint race and see how they go not that they might actually do anything but just to see if they come home 
Where's this one come through here? Oh, there's a couple more. So I'll probably pick this camera back up shortly when the rest of them return and we can have a better look. Get them all flocking together. How are you guys going? You all right? Yeah, they're looking pretty good. I'll give all the other birds um, a feed when they come back in and hopefully we can get these two little guys eating with them as well or at least sort of showing some interest it might take them a day or two when they take them until they actually get really hungry before they sort of start getting in on the action i find the little babies like this are a little bit in the beginning they're a little bit scared until they settle in um but they seem quite alert and happy and they're looking they're watching the other birds fly that's what they're looking at uh so that's a good sign it's definitely keen that they probably want to get up there but when we um feed the other ones we'll keep a close eye on them uh, just they're going to get two feeds today they get one this morning and then the bigger one this afternoon so they're going to get plenty of time to get a chance and hopefully they can copy the other birds get some water as well so i'm going to jump in here scrape that floor out and then hopefully there's some birds coming back i can see a couple here come a little group here All right, I need to sit my coffee up there so we can film. Because I've seen the other ones just drop in. Here they are. Just got back from roaming. I don't know how long they've been gone for, but I'd say it's probably 20, 25 minutes. Not too long. But they still are roaming, so that's good to see. I don't know where my little scary stick's gone, but come on. Oh, there it is. We'll get all those other lot back up and just keep them up for a bit longer, and then we'll bring them in. I want to try and get them in before the, the guy gets here with the sheep just so I can trap them on command. I don't want them sort of coming in by themselves, which most of them actually do. If the door's open, they come in. There's just a few probably like beefcake and that that just a little bit, um, I don't know what you call it, disobedient or just rebellious. Probably more rebellious actually. He's starting to sort of get confident and think he's the boss, but unfortunately that's not what's happening. I really like this flying. It's very peaceful to watch them just doing lap after lap. They get really low to the ground too, which is interesting. They come through with quite speed, so it's um, it's entertaining. A little bit dizzy, but still good. But they're just flying so much better than they actually were. I think that's feral, one of them, but it's all right. Mum, oh, I can hear one more of you cheeky pigeons up there. All right, he's moving. I'm trying to keep him up for a little bit longer. I've probably been doing about half an hour's worth of flying, which is which is good enough. They get a half an hour in the morning, and if they do the same in the afternoon, I'm pretty happy. They're really not gonna. There's Feral there. I can, he's just a weird flyer. He's so strange. He's got a funny little tail too, so he stands out. Um, but I'm, obviously, I'm not too fussed in trying to push these guys for an hour. It's probably not going to happen yet. Um, but as long as we get in half an hour, and then we can just when we get to tossing season, we can really start increasing their fitness. But maybe when we get more birds in the flock, it might push them a little bit more as well.
Right, I'm gonna get this off because um, they're getting pretty close and I might try and get them in. It's pretty funny, as soon as I take off this training box, I've been leaving it on there. I don't, I don't know if it kind of works like a flag system or something, but they know as soon as that comes off that it is time to come in. See, look, they notice a difference. I don't know what it is, it's whether it's, they might, I don't know, it's gonna be interesting to see. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on, you wanna feed? Come on! Come up. Come up. Come up. These are enjoying. I, you probably haven't had enough flying yet. I'm going to get some seed. All right, I got seed. She's going to miss out. Come up. We've still got a long way to go yet with um, getting them in really quick. Most of the time they're pretty good, but I really want them to be better. Come on. I know you want to come in. Oh, look at this little guy. Super. Come on. Come on, little fella. Hey, little man. Come on. How about you too? Oh, he's jumped over there. He likes this one better. There's a few birds coming in. Oh, nice of you to join us, Beefcake, hey? We finished trying to show off to all the hens. So this is one of our little squeakers here, and then we've got another one there, which... It's only been about 12 hours, probably, since I've been in this loft, but they're starting to settle in pretty well. Still sort of pestering the old birds, but, um, you know, they are pecking around and... Definitely quite happy that they're not getting picked on, and they're just settling in really well. I've got some fresh water here for them this morning, so hopefully they, um... They follow the other birds after the meal and have a little drink. But if not, I'll dip their beaks in that later on today. Hopefully if they haven't drunk by then, they'll be thirsty and they'll pick it up pretty quick. So he's getting there. He's, they know where the food is and it's just really good. He's having a little bit of a peck now. As long as he gets a few little seeds, he's, it's gonna be good, I'm quite happy. I think we've still got a couple of birds. Oh, Adam Archer's hen. Come up. Oh, she's been a bit naughty. Come on. I think there's two birds out, maybe. Come on. No, there's three. I can see three. Come on. I can see you out there. All of yours. Oh, come on. Oh, he is a being difficult now. That's all right, he's gonna miss out on some food. A different story if you were flying. Just lock this up so no one else gets out. We're gonna see who this is. All right, so we got the black hen, we got one of the little Leo Storms babies, and also the second Barless that we did breed. So it's a bit of a mixed bunch there. Some good ones and some old ones. Maybe she's not ready, maybe she wants to keep flying, I don't know, but She's got to learn that when I call her, she's got to come in. Same with you. Otherwise, you're going to miss out on the food. Because I only put a little bit of food in there just because I knew that we got a few difficult ones. I just don't want to sp think that um, she can sit out here all day and then come in and there's going to be food in here for her. Which is not the case. You fly. When you're ready, when I call you in, you come in and have a little bit of a snack. And then you can come and relax. Because I've opened the aviary up today. I'm going to be here pretty much all day. So the aviary's open. And we might even get the bathtub in there for you. We'll just see how we go. Because I'm hoping tomorrow I can dip all these birds for lice. So it'd be nice if I give them a bath now. Because I don't want to give them a bath for a couple of days after I give them a dip them. Just so that we, you know, the, the, the sort of insect killer stuff is still on the feathers. And it can go through and hopefully knock all the lice out and get on top of that. So the black hen just went in. But we've still got these two little difficult ones up on top here. 
they're just going to have to deal with it for now. They're going to have to go without. Their little bath tubs are all set up for them. So hopefully they can all come down and have a bath. You can see the sun's starting to come around now. So the next 15, 20 minutes, there's gonna be quite a bit of sun here for them. So hopefully they come down and have a nice little bath. Um, hopefully they will, they've had a fly. And I noticed, I don't know if you've seen it, but as soon as you open this up, thunder comes out and takes this little top perch up here. He's usually on one of them. And I'm I do really like it that the birds are starting to use these perches. I'm hoping on the warmer days they'll use them as well. They can come out and just enjoy the breeze because the actual breeze will go through the loft out up the top. So it'll create a nice little breeze for them. Still got pigeons on the roof. But they're going without food. So that's a little bit unfortunate for those two pigeons. So we'll sort them out. And then give them a little bit of time and hopefully they'll all come down and they might have a bath. It's only going to take one or two of them to head down there anyway. But right now we might have a look at this, um, the race roster and we'll have a little bit of a talk about that. Alright, we've got this. I printed this out for you guys. Um, I'm actually racing in a new federation here. It's been around for a while as a club but um, recently turned into a federation which is quite good um the guys are really nice and for me i don't really want to try and race a full series anyway this series is pretty small in comparison to the other one um for a lot of you guys that race especially younger people it is very time consuming and i guess a lot of people don't have the time that aren't retired so um this pretty much for me Give you a bit of a background. Obviously, we're building a house here, so that's going to start any time within the next month or two. And we've got to sell my other house, and my son's going to be born at the start of the year as well. So I need to balance, have a balance with with everything. Um, but we'll go through. So basically, every one of those is a race. There's quite a few there. There's not as many as what um, a lot of other places are, but this is more of a. Um, just a more of a relaxed setting and just this federation is just about enjoying your pigeons and just enjoying the company of other you know flyers and things like that and not getting too crazy none of the politics and all that kind of rubbish that you get which is what's drawn me to this club it's very flexible if i don't want to race this whole season then i don't have to there's no pressure um and i can come in and just race one race if i really want to but we'll look at um we'll start off we're starting off the 30th of may um, we've got, I'd say, these are the sprint races up to about here. So those three, we might send the birds on there. We may not. I don't know. We'll just see. Um, but these yellow, this actually continues through as a full ser like a full race series, but it's also broken into these two yellow things, which are actually called Series 1 and Series 2. So basically, these little series... Um, uh, little race seasons within the whole season which is really cool like myself and all the other young guys are very excited about this and so are the older boys as well but um, you know this is very interesting for us because if we want we can just come through and race this one series which is uh, what's that seven races so that's not too bad uh, the first series is 200 kilometers out to 420 given my position I'm on the far end of everyone else so i'm adding probably an 80 to 90 kilometers on top of this so even these will be 280 290 kilometers um but they're all not too bad so basically this little series i think there's obviously a trophy for this and there is quite good prize money for just racing this series if you do place in the top few i'm not worried about the prize money but i just like the the option of just racing you know focusing on these seven um and then you know and if i want to i can come through and do the next series as well or just a couple of them it just gives a a bit of a break for me because obviously with a young kid and all the other stuff that's going on around this property i just don't want to put too much pressure on myself and um 
So main thing for me, I want to focus on is I just definitely want to race this series one. I want to try and do that whole series. I'm going to try and clear those weekends so I don't have to do standby at work. Try to avoid any weekend work so I can actually um, participate in them, which is a 200, a 250, back to another 200. We've got a 300, a 300, a 380, and a 420, which I think for the first year young birds is actually quite good. Uh, Durian Bay, this one, there's two of those 200. That's a race that I raced in, not last year, the year before, and we actually got a couple of birds back and we lost them. So I definitely want to come back and tackle that one and see if we can um, get some birds back at least. That's why I'm putting a lot of work into these. Um, but we'll go down a little bit more just to give you an idea of how this works. We've got a club event, which is uh, it's like the Young Bird Derby and $5,000 ring race. So I think the first place for this is $5,000, which is pretty good considering this federation is very small. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to participate in that one. I may or may not. We'll just see how we go. Um, that is uh, the first one's 480 kilometers. And then the next one is 680, but I think 680 plus another 80 kilometers on top of that is probably pushing it to, um, for my young birds. I definitely want to try and keep it under 600 if I can. So we might, we might consider that one. We'll just see. There's, so there's three races there. We've got a long one, which is a Carnarvon fed, which is 820 kilometers. And by the looks of that, that's the longest race that we actually do, which I won't be doing this year anyway. I don't think my birds, I don't want to push them too much. And then we go back to the ser Series 2 starts in here, which is like uh, 300, 380, 420, 420, 480, 480, 600. So this would be a good test for the young birds. We, we could definitely give them a go in the Series 1, those seven races, see how we go. And then if I'm comfortable and confident with the birds and happy to um set aside another seven weekends in a row to do that then we definitely will look at it um because this is the next step so we're going 300 to 600 kilometers which 600 is probably the furthest that i do want to push these young birds this season i don't want to try not to lose too many because i want to um I'm, you know i definitely want to try some as two-year-olds because i've seen um little storm the condition that she's in as a two-year-old is phenomenal like she is definitely my favorite pigeon at the moment and I definitely want to try some of these, her brothers and sisters as two-year-olds, because they just are um, quite good at it. They're just unbelievable. You just, unless you're holding that bird, you just don't understand. But I'm saying it, she, she feels really good, so we definitely need to see how she goes. So um, this is basically the federation that I'm going to be racing in. Um, so, yeah, that's just a bit of a rundown for you guys, because next year is going to be a very busy year for me, so I don't want to... Um, get in you know annoy the my missus too much and the kids and things like that with all this pigeon racing we'll do it on and off um and that's the the really good thing about this is the actual flexibility we do have another federation here um which has probably got about 100 flyers there's like a thousand eleven hundred twelve hundred sort of birds every race but that's quite expensive it's very political um and i just don't really like the feeling in that at the moment um, just from what I'm seeing across Facebook and things like that, I kind of just, I don't want to spoil it. I want to come in and just enjoy it, especially being my first proper year. So that's kind of my reasoning coming here. It's very flexible. If I just want to do this, I can. Um, if I just want to do run one race, I can. Because you look at um, this $5,000 race, whatever it is, all these ones are open to all flyers. You don't even have to be a member of the club to be part of this and things like that. So... That's what I really like about this this little federation. It's quite small. Um, you know, there's probably going to be 10, 15 flyers, probably even more this season. It's growing quite fast. But it's just like a very good um, atmosphere. The guys are really good. So that's definitely very helpful too. They No, no secrets or anything. Everyone's sort of helping you out and giving you tips and stuff with the birds, which is fantastic, especially for someone like me that's never raced before. So yeah, that's basically it. You can drop some comments down below, but um, just to recap that we definitely are looking at this Series 1 and just completing that to see how they go. Um, I think that's a good test. We can go from the 200 out to 420. And if we do go through this and we we don't really lose too many birds and we're feeling pretty good about it and the birds are all healthy and happy, then we'll definitely look at this um, the next series as well. 
it's more of a I like the series idea because I can come in and do it and it's more of a metric instead of me trying to tackle a whole season and you know missing a few races and missing points I can just focus on setting aside those seven weeks in a row or whatever it is and saying look you know I just want to see how well I can go in that and how many you know how I because obviously this will have its own little um you know because it's its own series you're going to have the, someone who gets first in this whole series second third so it's a good metric for me to come in and just test my very small team um so i'm pretty excited actually i think it's gonna be very interesting especially racing from this position here um yeah we'll see how we go with it but uh those birds uh, i think the first one's starting to come through for a bath now I don't know if they're overly keen, but they might come out when the, water, the sun sort of comes around a bit more. But um, anyway, I'm going to shut this video off here. It's sort of dragging on a little bit now, but that is the race calendar. I know a lot of you guys wanted to see that. Um, don't forget to drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Um, obviously, a lot of you have got 100 times more experience than me with this thing. But um, And there's a few of you guys that are watching this that are actually going to be racing in this as well. So it's going to be very good to race against all of you guys. And I guess you'll see you guys at the club, so enjoy yourself, and I'll see you probably tomorrow. But make sure you enjoy your weekend. It's the weekend, so enjoy it.